and welcome back to my channel. Monica Pye is here. So today's video is about motivation to go to the gym. I've got six tips and tricks that will help you get your butt to the gym because I know that motivation comes and it goes. I don't always have it. You don't always have it. So we're going to work together. All right guys, so your number one tip that's gonna help you get to the gym is find your reason why. Why do you wanna go to the gym? Why do you wanna get all sweaty? I love to go to the gym, it's my passion. I love the way that you feel when you're at the gym lifting heavy and you're like, yeah. I just lifted that, like I love that. And when guys are like, damn girl, you lifted that. And I was like, yeah dog. <laughs> there are short-term and long-term goals, even though like short-term sh goals are not always the best. Um, like sometimes you gotta get ready for an event or a photo shoot and then you're like, yeah, I lost the weight, wow, look at the scale go down. And then you go get yourself some Froyo. You know what I'm talking about. You've done it. <laughs> and you've done it too. I know I've done it. So they don't always work, but they kind of get you motivated and they get you going to the gym. Then there's long-term goals, which to me is much more important. When I'm old and like a little yahita in the nursing home, <laughs> I want to be the baddest yahita there. So I've seen some older, I know, I've seen some older people going to these races, like these marathons and stuff. That's what I want to be. I want to have the health, have the ability, have everything, the fast twitch muscles working so that I can still be active and be able to do things instead of just sitting in a wheelchair or sitting at home all day. Number two. You gotta find your inspiration. Mine is probably the most cliche thing ever, but it used to be my dad, but now it's my dad and my mom. They are my inspiration. My dad has arthritis, and he was gonna have to be in a wheelchair for the rest of the life, or that's what the doctors told him. And he's done half Ironmans, marathons, half marathons, like I don't even know how many. He's got like a whole, wall of medals in his room. That to me is inspiration. I've got like three medals. <laughs> and my mom. My mom was literally diagnosed with DCIA, DCIS, which is stage zero cancer. So it's nothing, thank God it was caught on time. That was on a Thursday. That same Sunday, she was doing her half marathon. If that's not inspiration, then I don't know what is. They are the reason that I do what I do because if they do it, you know, they're older than me, they, they've got their health issues, then I sure as hell can do it without any excuses. Number three, you gotta track your progress. Whether it's taking progress pictures once a week, uh, do, um, tracking your weight, you gotta keep track of what you're doing. This is very, very important because sometimes the scale goes up and down, especially for us girls, you know, our little flow that comes, aunt flow. So if you keep pictures, I think is the best way you can see the small progress that you have done. Small, but mighty. If you're weightlifting, do what I do, keep a notebook, and see how you've progressed in getting stronger. It's not all about looks. It's about them games. Number four, you gotta have a plan. Don't just go in there and think, I'm gonna wing it because you end up getting frustrated or overwhelmed and you're just like, please, that's not what you want. So go in there, you know, go to bodybuilding.com, go to any website, go to YouTube, and figure out what you're gonna do. Write it down, have it on your phone, and that way you're like, okay, this is what I gotta do, and you're structured, and you've got a plan. It's all about the game plan. Numero 
control. Reward yourself. You've lost the weight, you've gained the muscle, you've been consistent with your diet, you've been consistent going to the gym, so why not reward yourself? Now, I do not mean reward yourself with food. That is the worst thing that you can do. I've done it and it's awful. But buy yourself a new tank top with the new size that you are because you lost weight. Buy yourself a bathing suit. Spend a spa day all day. Just spend a day doing nothing. Buy yourself a car. Or convince your husband that you want to go to doodle. You've been killing it at the gym and you need to reward yourself. Number six, get yourself a gym buddy. Let me tell you, I wish I had a gym buddy. I'm about to like get Dutch to go with me to the gym because it's so much better when you got a gym buddy. Sometimes you don't want to go to the gym. You got home late from, from work or from school. You're tired, you're hungry, and you just don't want to go. And that gym buddy's gonna be like, uh-uh, we gotta go, we gotta go. Or you motivate each other, like you tell them, you know, no, you gotta go to the gym. Or, you know, it's so much better doing it with somebody, especially somebody that you trust and has the same goals and mindset as you. Now, don't just get yourself a gym buddy and that person's like texting away, that's probably not the best. Mm, no, not at all. You want someone with your same goals and mindset, so keep that in mind. And also, you might need help bench pressing or getting lifting, you know, sometimes getting that barbell over your head. Yeah, I gotta struggle with that. That's why I need a gym buddy. So, I'm taking people. If anyone wants to be my gym buddy and lives in Miami, Holla, holla at you girl. So those are my tips and tricks and I hope that they work. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like it and if you tried it. 